and desktop support and today I'm going to show you how to deploy a software uh, to many computers in your work in your work group or your uh, domain environment for example you are a tech a desktop technician or a desktop administrator you want to deploy uh, you have five labs and in each five labs you have 40 computers so you can do imaging that's one of the things that but let's say you you're done with imaging and right after that someone told you that I want this individual software to be on all of these desktop and uh, right after the imaging so you wouldn't go back and try to make a clean image you would need something that like for example to push that uh, software into that computers and I found this open source software but unfortunately they just discontinued I don't know why but I think it's one of the best softwares out there you won't find a download I went to Google and it's hard to find a download but if you need it you can email me I'll send the zip file and then from there you can use it it's open source they have a license in there in software so I'm using it right now on five labs 40 computers and if I need something to uninstall or to install a software or to remote control a so uh, computer or to do many things scale the processes or um, services anything that a management uh, software will do uh, the software can do it for you and it's very easy it's like a, it's like if you are used to active directory then it's a, it's you know, I'm not gonna be um, using this software but if you're a, a, a lab technician or someone that because most of the lab computers are not on domain uh, people tend to believe that on work group because you always re image and people just do a lot of stuff with it so you don't want to put it on domain so you would need something like this it will work just like a domain computer that you will be uh, controlling these computers from one computer and it's pretty cool I tested it it's awesome so today I'm going to show you how it works uh, <coughs> the software like I said you won't find it outside so if you need it just email me or I'll, I'll make my I'm trying to make my site and I'll put this um, installation over there so people can download it uh, okay so what is this what is the name of the software this is Purgos P-U-R-G-U-S 3.0 this is the release that they sent um, open source management it's a premier windows computer management solution for a small or enterprise size business now when you open the software uh, let's say when you double click on the file it will ask you for your administrator password username and password now to manage this is the main point over here to manage all the computers in your network you will have to have the same password on the server and the client and I have done that part so I can't go back to that because I can't change the settings so once you double click on the, the file and it's open it will ask you uh, your administrator username and your password then you will use the same username and password on the client computer then from there you will start so let's open the software this is the console software when you after we install this uh, software um, then the, you'll see this console and right here server after that when you put the username and your your password your computer will be connected and it will sh it should say right here connected server state okay version 3.3 so we will just go quickly to our manage computers now to manage computers you have to add a computer if you right click if you right click you go to add computers once you add computers, you click on many computers over here because you're not um, handling one computer. You can do that too, but here we want to do we want to handle many computers. Once you click on many computers, do active directory. For example, if you are uh, if this computer is a domain and I install this computer, and if I'm a, um, a server admin, I can put my um, active directory over here. It will just automatically uh, scan all the computers on my domain network and automatically connect them so because you're a, a super admin or a server admin you have the rights you can install uh, on, on anything on that on those computers so it will automatically click everything 
Now, if you're in a lab environment and you are in a work group environment, then you will click on empty LM domain. So it will just automatically, you can see that work group, work group is connected. Then you drop down and click on it. Next. Once you click on next, it's pretty quick. If you have so many computers, in, let's say I have 200 computers in my area, it's just connected in a second. It, it don't even take that much time. So what you need to do is take out this one because this is a server and this is a client PC. I'll just click next on it and click next. And it will tell you that what um, installation they want to install an agent, register agent, and take an entry. Now, we're not going to finish this right here. We just leave this right here. We have to go to client computer first because we have to change some setting in there. Now, in the server, you can see right here. Let's see. Let's close this. I will come back to this again. In the server, on the documentation, if you click on it, it will give you all the documentation inside the, the software. Now, you need to go and uh, read this. This is very uh, helpful. Now, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna take you quickly and make your system to work. This is the main thing right here when you are working on work group computers because in domain computers, most of the time you have did all the settings like firewall is turned off and then you have your own stuff going on. But in work group environment, you you most of the time your firewall will be on automatically. So you need to go change this setting in there. You need to go to client computer, go to the RE, the reg edit, and then RE edit, sorry. And then after that, you go to your REG edit. I'm just messing up today. Okay. <laughs> so then you're going to click on this system and then current control set control LSA force guest equal to zero. I know for sure it's going to be one. So you're going to make it to zero. Then you're going to go to your current computer and turn off your firewall and antivirus too. So these three things need to be turned off. Okay. So we'll go back to our console. Now, assume that I went there and I have did this stuff. I, I went there, I went to uh, Rega. Then after that, I went to, um, then after that, I went to turn off my firewall. Then I went to turn off my antivirus. Now I came back to my uh, my server, and it is asking me that I don't have any computers. Let's add some computers in there. Now many computers again. NTLM domain. Next. Client PC. Next. And then you click on next. And now I want to say finish. Okay. Now you see it's right here. My client is installing. My server is installing an agent on my client right now. It's started right here, and on the bottom it will tell you tell it will tell you that what's going on. So now it installed the client. It is installing another um, progress agent dot msi. You can see right here it successfully completed a copy. Now establishing uh, so everything is successfully completed and taken inventory. Now my this client computer is connected. Client PC. Now I can do anything with this client PC. Let's do. Uh, let me show you what you can do. Once you right click on it, you will see what you can do to this client. You can click on manage. You can go to WMI and share. You can delete any share folder in that computer. You can processes. You can terminate any processes. Operating system. You can shut down MSI software. You can uninstall any MSI software. You can go to services, you can go to logical printers, you can delete uh, ad printer connections and do and all sort of stuff and it's pretty powerful. Trust me, it is powerful. Network adapter, compile new and you can see right here device manager. Software, you can install software, uninstall software um, and I'm going to show you how to uh, install software on the computer and uninstall other things you can see, send a message to the computer, execute a command, pretty cool, reboot a computer, remote control, you can do it, install a reboot. Once you click on install VNC for XP computer, it works pretty good. It will just automatically 
uh, installed. So make sure the installed VNC password is the same when you when you install the server. It will ask you for the password for the computer and the VNC uh, password. So make sure you use the same password for both. So then you won't have to duplicate the two different passwords. Now here's the thing. You can let me try this from Windows to XP if it's gonna work. I'm not sure. So right now it's telling me that. Uh, Okay, it did. It successfully installed the VNC. Now, if I already have a VNC in the other uh, in my computer, then it's saying, oh, let's see. Okay. Uh, I already have client computer. Okay, unfortunately, my client is busy right now. Someone is working on it, so I can't be. I can't do anything with it. But, but if you say if you see this successful completion installed everything if it's working if you can see this messages and see there's no fail messages down here okay, right here then that means anything that you do or command this computer it will work just to give you um, an example I'll just add the same server computer into the system that just to give you an idea, I mean, I wouldn't recommend this doing, but right now my client is busy. Uh, right here, this is my server, so this is going to be your client. You just click next, finish, and now you can see it is installing on this computer. The agent, the agent of this computer is now uh, started. Let's see if this is going to work on this computer. Like it is because you know it's going to that MSI successful. So you can see this right now. Now, to give you an example, I'll just go and let's see, send a message. Send a message. Hey, test. Okay, so once you send a message, now this is Windows 7. In Windows 7 environment, it will not work if you send a message because it has this problem right here interactive services detection in XP it will just go directly you can still see this if you open right here um, ask me later I'll just I think if you had a way this just take me a little bit the screen will just take out uh, let's do installation of software this is how you can install on your uh, client and I would say the best uh, the best thing you can do is use this on the XP. If your clients are XP, then you're in good shape. I'm, I never tried it on uh, Windows 7 or Windows uh, uh, Vista. So if someone can get uh, around it, uh, it will help them out too. Create a new package. One of the best things about this software, I like is software anti and that's why the main reason I would use and that someone else would use Click new package. Now, I recommend you to uncheck this box because this program has a problem. If let's say it is just too quick, this program has a little bit box in there, so it is too quick to decide. It will just tell, it will delete the software before even installing it. So then it will say, okay, I did not find it. But let's just delete uh, install file once installation complete.